surfing to me is uh, it's really kind of a therapeutic activity. I always find myself escaping a lot of my you know, personal and life and life issues sitting out there. It, it allows you to focus on something that's totally disconnected from anything that uh, anything that might be troubling you. It really just is a release. It's a great it's a great form of therapy for me. That's the way I look at it. My interest in sustainability and the environment is kind of stemmed back to how we make things and the detriment that they cause to our environment. Um, whether it's you know whether it's dinner or a surfboard, it's all relative to me. Uh, I, I built one fin for my brother-in-law as a Christmas gift, and after I built that, I was sort of hooked on the process. Conceptualizing uh, is, is my favorite part of the design process because it allows me to play with materials, consider different materials, and then come up with a, a solution. Driving around, looking around, seeing cups littering the streets and Dunkin' Donuts on every corner, I just kind of went all in and said I need to, I need to come up with a thousand cups to build a board. And at one particular beach cleanup, uh, my daughter and I collected a bucket full of debris and uh, over 90% of it was, um, was fishing gear. I decided I wanted to try to raise awareness of that problem um, and, and tackle building a board out of lobster buoys. Building these things and using them myself is a trip in itself, um, but I was blown away that it actually worked. Like I, I stood up on my first wave and it, was, it closed out in front of me, but I was like, whoa, <laughs> it works. So that was, that was pretty, pretty exciting. I built this thing just sort of out of stubbornness and uh, you know, like sort of, I'm sort of a glutton for punishment when it comes to building things like this. I like to, like I have an idea, I like to, um, I like to just kind of get into it and, and see where it goes. And I'm not gonna stop until it's done. I made it to raise awareness uh, of the waste that we use every day and that's more important to me than anything is that people see it and they question where all the cups came from and they question where all the cups go. Building the Duncan board and the lobster buoy board were about this challenge to find waste that you see around you and build something that's usable for surfing and that sort of brings a much more massive uh, concept of awareness to a surfer and to a, a shaper. It's changed the way I live my life on a daily basis. It's changed the way I look at, at building things. It's changed the way I look at where stuff comes from. The ocean itself is the, you know, it's the, the heart of why there's life on Earth. It's just kind of an eerie time we're in, and I, being a, a dad and being sure that the things that I like to do are going to be something that, if my kids choose to do them as well, that they'll be able to. Within the scope of my, of my ability to understand, to think that the way we enjoy the outdoors and the way that we enjoy surfing and snowboarding, it's questionable as to whether or not it's going to be the same forever. <laughs>